Oh my god, he died. What do I do in this situation? Because it is the most awkward thing. Hey guys, it's Amy. So I'm back with another story time video. So this one took place like two years ago and I have been getting eyelash extensions like on and off for a few years now. But like, I'll get them every once in a while for like a few months and then I'm like, uh, it's too far to drive. And then I don't get them for a few months and then I'm like, oh, but they look really nice. And then I get them for a few more months. Anyway, so right now I don't have them, but two years ago I did. And when you have eyelash extensions, you have to go in for fills every few weeks and they like replace the ones that fell out. So uh, I was going for a fill and normally I just get like whatever person, you know, like you can request a certain person, but I was like, nah, just give me like whoever's there, you know, like I'm not going to be picky. Like I don't know. They're all qualified the same. So I go to this lady and I had never had her like do my lashes before, but I know they're all like qualified and trained and stuff. So I go and like lay down and stuff and normally it is like the most relaxing thing in the world. It's actually amazing. Like they have gigantic like lazy boy chairs and you like lay back in them so they can like reach your lashes and stuff. So you're like in a napping position, they give you blankets and there's like really chill music in the speakers. The whole room is like dim except for like their little working light and then it's just awesome. So basically like every time you go there, it's like you can nap for like an hour and get really nice eyelashes at the end of it. It's amazing. So some of the people who get their eyelashes done, they can like talk to the person or uh, you don't have to, you can like nap, which is normally what I do, but some people talk to the person doing their lashes too. But um, I, I just don't do that. Like I just prefer to nap. So the lady starts like working on my lashes and stuff. And she's like, how are you? And I'm like, oh, super good, you know, thanks. And like, we're just like chit chatting and stuff. And then like, it gets quiet for a while and I'm like, okay, cool. I'm probably gonna doze off soon, this is great. So then she starts talking about her kid and I'm like, okay, well now I have to stay up for a little bit. No problem, this is totally fine. I'm getting really pretty lashes, woohoo. So I don't mind it. And then she tells me that her daughter is like three years old or something and then she's like telling me all her favorite colors and like all this cute stuff about her daughter. I mean like I could talk about my dog for like hours probably, so people probably do that with their kids, you know? So she's like telling me how proud she is of her daughter, how cute she is and blah blah blah, all this stuff. And I'm like, okay, I get it. She probably has a cute kid. Or like, I would hope that parents think that their kids are cute. Anyway, so she's like telling me all this stuff about her daughter and then she goes like, it's such a shame that she won't know her dad. Like, oh my God, he died. So I'm like trying to like chill, right? But she's like telling me all this stuff and I just think that the kid's dad died. And I'm like, oh my God, like way to like drop a bomb on a customer. And then she's like, oh yeah, like he's in jail. And I was like, oh my God. And then it was like, what? Like this lady, she starts to go on like, oh yeah, he's serving like 10 to 15 or something. I don't remember. Like she tells me like how long he's like in jail for and that like her daughter doesn't even remember him. She's already too tiny. She's not gonna know him until she's like out of high school and stuff. And I'm just like, Oh my god, this poor lady and this poor kid, but also this is like super weird. Why are you telling me this? And then she goes on and tells me about how like her family doesn't like the guy because he's in jail and that like he shouldn't be in jail, he should be with his kid or just like all this family drama and like part of me is like loving it because it's like, oh my god, this is like such juicy gossip. But at the same time, I'm just like, lady, can you not? So anyway, she's like telling me all this stuff and at the same time, She's not really focusing on my lashes, right? So she's kind of like poking me. And I mean, it's a really sensitive area for somebody to poke you. So it's like kind of hurting, you know, because she just like, okay, the way that they apply the lashes is they take like itty bitty tiny little tweezers and they like put it on your individual lash. So it's something that you really need to like, you know, focus on when you're doing that. And she's like telling me all this like family drama and gossip and stuff. And she's not like telling the person next to me, like the other person working. No, no. she's like talking to me about it. And she's like, isn't that crazy? And I'm like, yeah, that's crazy, you know? So she's like kind of poking me a little bit or like, um, bumping into my eye and stuff like thank god she didn't like stab me but she was just kind of like poking me and pricking me and stuff like she, I don't know if she meant to probably not I think it was just that she just wasn't focused she was like telling me the story right and then she continues on about how like her daughter has a good relationship with her grandfather and stuff and that like 
she wishes that her boyfriend or husband could be in her daughter's life and she just keeps going on about it and I'm just thinking like like do I interrupt the lady to tell her that she's kind of poking me or do I just like do this therapy session for her or like what do I do in this situation because it is the most awkward thing and like you can't even like get up or anything because I mean they like tape your eyes and that sounds like terrible but like they tape your eyes so that like you won't like open them and then like be blinded by the bright light they have over it but um yeah it was a terrible situation and I just kind of decided to wait it out so fills are normally like an hour ish so I just kind of had to wait it out for the whole hour while she was telling me about why he was in jail, which I can't really remember at this point, and telling me all about like her daughter and how cute she is and like her family and how her family disapproves of the guy and how the guy, like what she, what is he doing in there? Like, is he okay, you know, worrying about him and all this stuff? And I'm like, this is a totally reasonable thing to tell a friend. But I don't know how appropriate it is to tell a random client. Like, I mean, I'm not really complaining, but it's just kind of weird, you know? It's just, I feel like if somebody hired me for like editing or for graphic design or something, I would not want to tell them. I just feel like that's not like the first thing that comes to mind. So, okay, so like at the end of the service, not only had she been telling me about like her boyfriend or husband who was in jail, and then all this crazy stuff, and like poking my actual like eyelashes and stuff. Well, not like my eyelashes, but you know, like, eyelid. There we go. That's the proper word. Good job. Anyway, so she was poking my eyelid and stuff, and then I think it ended up being that, like, one of the eyes, like, wasn't even the same as the other, so it, like, one was, like, really full and the other one was, like, not. It just looked weird. Anyway, so then I had to email the company a few days later, and I was like, hey, could you, like, get someone to fill it because it's, like, uneven and stuff? Don't want her to lose her job or anything because I mean like, you know, her family's in jail. So I mean, but you know, I was just like, can you just get me like another person to do it? And they ended up just giving me another like free fill or whatever. So I just like went a few days later and got everything fixed. But it was just a really weird experience. Like I am sorry that she had to go through that whole thing, but it's like that was not really what I was going for. I was like, Normally, okay, because normally I go there so I can nap and wake up with pretty eyelashes. This was not the case. It just wasn't. It was just weird. The whole thing was weird. I don't know. So that's my whole weird eyelash experience. But I have a few other stories from the eyelash place. Anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys are new here. That way you don't miss an upload. And also don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Snapchat, Instagram, all that good stuff. And all my links for that are down in the description. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. The teacher got so mad. I mean, I don't think anybody expected it.